I can't find that um, that tweet anymore because mm. uh, I looked at the docket and it was um with Justin Wong and stuff. Uh, someone's like, "Wow, I really love um." I lo- how it was like something like they're so excited to play. Uh, you know, play the Marvel vs. Capcom collection, mm-hmm. and we ran out of time, then they met... <laughs> the the, the Wazler. The Wazler, yeah. <laughs> the Wazler. <laughs> Online. Got their ass handed, and they're like... <laughs> and they showed, like, a screenshot of, like, yeah, it was fun while it lasted, <laughs> and it was, like, a refund oh receipt, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, um... Mm-hmm. It's like, I am so sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so sorry. And then, like, someone pull is like, I mean, would you rather get your ass kicked by, like, Yipes or you know, someone else? <laughs> They're like, yes, I would. So, you know, Yipes plays a eviler team, right? No. Yeah, he's a he's okay. evil champ. <laughs> he's an evil champ for <laughs> fucking Marvel 2. Like, <laughs> yeah, so it's like, <laughs> So the correct answer is, uh, if you want to enjoy the game, you rather have your ass kicked by Marlin, Marlin Pie or fucking Mave Spider, some one of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, or hey, just just keep playing. Don't refund the game. <laughs> Think of it as an honor, because you can you're gonna be on on one of his vids. Yeah, it's like uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin giving you the Stone Cold Stunner. Or the middle fingers, I don't know. Or or offering you, you know, a beer. Mm -hmm. You don't drink it, and then he does the stunner. mm -hmm. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly, that's how it is. Yeah. (laughs) Bit of a tangent. I can tell Hawk is, his favorite wrestler is Stone Cold, right? No, actually, it's uh, Kane. King Blue River. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So his favorite one is. Mm-hmm. Mind you would think it's like, you know, I'm not, I'm old. So you think like Hulk Hogan and stuff. No, mine is actually the Heartbreak Kid. Oh, H- uh, HBK? Shawn Michaels? Yeah, Shawn really? Michaels. Yep. I thought yours would be like, um, uh, what was it? oh Eddie Guerrero? I thought I, I thought he'd be here. It would be Eddie Guerrero, but I love him for being the villain, mm-hmm, the I heel. Like yeah. I, mm. yeah, but uh, Shawn Michaels is my all-time favorite. Okay, it right. was Sting until mm-hmm. until after a while. Then Shawn Michaels was like, oh, he kind of yeah took over, overtaken that position. I guess yeah. That's that's respectable. I, I feel like Shawn Michaels is a pretty respectable pick for like p- people's favorites. Um, could never get into. Uh, could never get into Goldust. Would he just creep yeah. me out? <laughs> 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 Or what was it? Like, what if his intro, he will be, like, walking into stage, he has the wig, and then when mm-hmm. he did that, he just pulls it off. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, he, like, sometimes, like, rub his nipples. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, before we get into it uh, fully, it is the anniversary of Genshin and also Pokemon Red and Blue, and also even Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, which is, uh, that, that one is my favorite, uh, Pokemon version, or generation, excuse me. I believe that's four? Generation four? My personal favorite. I have, I have my reasons, but not gonna get into that, because it's gonna be too long, <laughs> perhaps. I mean, till this day, my my favorite generation is always the second generation because of Total Dial. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think I think one of the reasons why I like Diamond and Pearl so much is the the evolutions. 
in that one because like, I really like Glaceon as one of the evolution designs. They don't have a dragon type for it, right? No. I'm surprised they still have not done it at this point. Maybe they're saving it for um, the next one that's coming up, which is uh, Legends Z, I think it's called. Legends Z. That's the one they announced um, way back when. Either way, I, I, I just hope in the next um, mainline Pokemon game. Yeah. Yeah, mainline Pokemon game. <clears throat> The graphics a little bit better. Yeah, at and, least a tad, right? Yeah. And I'm sorry, I'm old school. I want, I want linear. You, like, you, yeah, you, the you open to... world is kind of not doing it for you. No, because um, what's the pat this um current one, Scarlet and Violet? Yes. Yeah, you could branch out to go whatever gym, but. Mm -hmm. my dumbass went okay if this is the academy I went this way I didn't go to because I think this way had like the the easy one <laughs> the yeah the easy state um because it was the grass and then mm -hmm. the water and stuff I went yeah. on this side and I was like why is it fucking level 15 <laughs> Yeah, and that I was nice track trying to grab um the grasshopper Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and trying to get its um shiny version, which is which its color is black, and because it also looks like common rider. Yeah, like, well, yeah, fair. Yeah, I get it. We'll see. We'll see what they do with it. They're probably going to stick with the for uh, open world formula just because, I don't know, maybe that's what they want to do. But we'll we'll see since um a lot of the old, old veterans of the development team have left, apparently. So hopefully the newer people know what they're doing. Given I'll come back here, you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then give enough time and budget or whatever. And we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah. Anyway, anywho, this is two ninety four of the hypecast. Welcome everyone. We're we're getting that much closer to uh three hundred, man. It's been uh it's been a ride, right? As been we a journey. Yeah, it's been a journey as we close in uh closer and closer to the end of the year as well. You know. Uh but we still have ways away. We still have October, November, and December, right? And, um, you know, still got the, you know, oh, especially the election, too. <laughs> That's going to be a doozy. Uh-oh, what the fuck's going on? Wait, what the hell? Why is this blank? Did I? Uh oh. Is it blank on your end? Oh. Oh, what the f. What? What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> Did you press something? <laughs> Probably. Okay. That scared <laughs> me for a second. I'm like, what the fuck happened? It was like completely blank. Okay. We died it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we do have we do have uh, definitely stuff to talk about, as you can tell. Uh, so we do have quite a bit. We better go. Uh. We we have quite a bit to go through for fighting game stuff alone, mm -hmm. and all the rest and the rest as well. So let's get to it. Um. Oh fuck! I forgot. Almost to God damn it! My fucking iPad. <laughs> uh, soundboard stuff. And you did do the stuff, right? The the what? You taught. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, shit. I almost forgot. I'm trying to. I'm like jumping ahead of myself. 
so much to talk about. So little time. Okay. So let me see. I'm going to quickly do that. Oops. Not at Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually kind of funny. Um. Uh, sure. Because <laughs> she got uh, revealed re recently. Zilonen, her name. And yeah, she's a, she's like a DJ and a roller skater. Very unexpected combination. Yeah. Anyway, well, well, I, maybe maybe we'll check that out later, but um, because we do have quite a bit to go through. So, um, let me see. Oh yeah, and then the soundboard, blah blah blah. Uh, okay, so this that that soundboard. All right. Now we can get into the fighting game news of things after I hit this. This battle is about to explode. So we're like one step closer to essentially reliving that experience in a way because um, the, whatchamacall, Fido Fury, uh, City of the Wolves, uh, I believe had their little spot at uh, Tokyo Game Show, right? Because remember, Tokyo Game Show is going on right now as we speak. And they had their little segment, I believe. And this is a kind of a big one, uh, though not super surprised, but still it was it was pretty cool. Um, very very brief, but that's all we need to know. So let's just give it give this a whirl. Yes, we got Terry and Mai. But not just them. Here we comes new challenges. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa, there. <laughs> the streets of fighters. The Bobo. <laughs> and the teacher. Mm hmm. Yep, so yeah, Ken and Chun-Li have been officially announced for a crossover for uh, Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves. So yeah, we're... we're... Which is mm -hmm. a better pick. Mm -hmm. Ken is a better pick than Ryu. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you think about it, it makes um, Ryu has it makes no... Um, correlation or connection. Yeah, correlation with um, Terry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know... The, the rivalry, right, ever, ever established ever since uh, Capcom versus SNK. Uh, Ken and Terry, it's, they, they, it had to happen, right, um, at some point when it comes to these uh, little situations. And, of course, Chun-Li and Mai, same thing. The the waifu rivals, right? The, I kind of want to, mm -hmm. my hope, I know it's a long shot. Yeah. They have one special dialogue that referenced some um, death battle. And what was that? Um, oh. No, it's just like they did a death battle, like they oh. referenced like. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I, I thought you're saying like um, this should be like a specific, or you wish to see a specific quote from no death battle. Oh, well, they'll probably be like, <laughs> you know, like ready for round two or something like that. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, there it the essentially the. The circle is complete, uh, if you will, right? Because we have uh, Terry and Mai in Street Fighter Six, and now we have Ken and Chun Li coming into um, Fatal Fury. So that is the simple gist of that. Um, I, I figured as much. Um, I thought they would throw in one more character like Luke, maybe into the mix, but uh, I, I'm actually not uh, surprised. Nor am I, you know hating on this or anything that by any means i think this is a, a good solid picks for um you know having ken and chun li it, it, it just makes too much sense it's like how could you not right 
Um, the thing about that too is that these are two of the five characters in the season pass. Um, which is yes, including in the sixty dollar price tag, right? Um, I am super actually surprised though because of Ken and then one other character because they're both coming in uh summer twenty twenty five, so that's a that's a way a ways a wait ways away kind of because um the game is you have to remember that the, that the game is coming out that year too so we're not um they're, it's not coming out in 2024 so uh but um canon is summer of 2025 chun li is winter 2025 so she is coming in later um and then we have a you know we have a another character coming in coming in between which is fall 2025 and then the last character is coming in early 2026 so that's that's definitely a ways away for sure yeah. But interesting that there are two characters coming in around the same sort of time window, if you if 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 you will. Um, anything else you wanted to throw in when it comes to Ken and Chun Li? It's more on the the second summer, mm -hmm. uh, two thousand twenty five yes. slot. Yes. Geese, <laughs> calling it is geese. Yeah, maybe, yeah, perhaps. Of some form, right? Like nightmare geese or Greek geese, undead geese, undead ge yeah, something, right? It's, it's got to be some sort of like form of geese, geese or um, uh, what's the other guy? I know I'm gonna oh, be Ru oh, horrible in Rugal, not Rugal, oh. um, the other one. Um, he does some um, wind elements and. One oh, oh just um, uh, uh, Gannis. Yeah, I think Gannis so it might is, be. I want to say mm -hmm. it's a boss character. Mm -hmm. It's some sort a of boss playable character. boss. Yeah, character. I think Gannis is more uh, King of Fighters, but I could be wrong. I, I don't know where you know Gannis lies in that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but it, it could be one of the um underworld bosses. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. And at New Geese you know, uh -huh. in in the City of the Wolf, Fatal mm -hmm. Fury um, timeline. Yeah. 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 Uh, otherwise, it is kind of up in the air. But yes, two, two of the characters is the guest characters from good old Street Fighter 6. That's some, uh, you know, let that sink in if you uh, if you want, you know. Let's see in the comments. Um, <laughs> came from streets. No way. Ain't no way. Looks like Capcom. Uh, that's again Capcom are testing for a possible crossover game. Yeah, essentially, essentially uh, a possibility of Capcom versus SNK making its comeback. Um, yeah, CBS three is is definitely being developed already. Um, oh yeah. Meanwhile, yes, Ronaldo was announced. Uh, yeah. for something. I don't know. We still don't know what exactly what that is. Um, yeah, they're definitely cooking something, right? Uh, yeah, Terry is out at this point. Maya is still coming in, uh, soonish at this point. Um, this is this is the exact moment when Ken Masters overcomes depression. <laughs> um, yeah, fighting many fighting game fans have been experiencing Christmas ever since uh Street Fighter 6 dropped. Yeah, I I I I don't think that's wrong. Um I like that it's I'll Ken say, yeah. not Ryu. Okay. So sorry, what? I was also going to put like gameplay wise. Mm -hmm. The after image for both Ken and Chun-Li are going to look really good. Yeah, yeah. The, I think good. they'll yeah, they'll definitely blend in blend right into the uh, the new mechanics for Fatal Fury. So that, that, I think that'll be pretty fun. But the question will be, whose fire effects is going to look better? Mm. Mai's or Ken's? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and with Chun-Li, I just want to see a lot of, um, you know, Sakura Blossoms, because some, for some reason she has Sakura Blossoms mm -hmm. with her now. Yes. Oh, uh, wait. Mm-hmm. I have another prediction of one of those characters. 
Mm. What if it's another guest character? Another guest character. It's from a franchise, franchise that's not doing so hot, but people still play it. What if it's a DOA character? <laughs> Damn, you're going... Damn, you're reaching deep. Yeah. <laughs> going deep and watch it go and be fucking like Kasumi or Ayane and be mm -hmm. like... Mm. <laughs> Mario will be like, I'm the only one here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm the only ninja. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> Mai did come in into um, DOA at yeah. one point, so that that's fair. That's only fair. Um. Yeah. No. I. Th I think. Um. That would be pretty neat that they'll include one more crossover, maybe. But I think. Um. Like you're saying, I. Th I think in one of them is going to be a boss character, bar none. I think it has to be. But yeah, but other than that, I mean, it's great. I, I think it's um uh, great that we're we we're getting this um. No, 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 no gameplay right now. It's just a little teaser, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, love to see it, man. Fighting game uh, fans are still like eating good up to this point. We're we're definitely still in that golden era. I think I mean I think the golden era will like go on for much longer. I mean, it depends on like what they're gonna do next. Like, just hell, like they're gonna uh, announce. Capcom versus SNK three or whatever at some point, man, that'd be huge, definitely huge. But that will definitely be like either a twenty six release or twenty seven, at uh, at the very least. And by that time, I don't know, <laughs> man, we're gonna be like we're gonna be, we're gonna be having a uh, couple. Let's just, let's just say a couple more gray hairs, <laughs> right? At least. I like I like this comment from Justin, Mr. Justin Wong or Mr. Wazler, excuse me. <clears throat> he says, "Um, y'all think you're uh, uh, y'all think uh, you were slick. I am picking Chun Li so he can just defend my super." <laughs> yep. Oh uh, man, that's funny. Yeah, I guess they uh they do have some sort of like parry mechanic, which is just called parry just, system. Yeah. Yeah, which is called just defend. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's gonna be so hilarious. Yeah, yeah, basically, basically that's gonna happen. That little gift from Jabali. Thank you, Jabali, for that. All right. It's like I think Jabali has like these gifts ready for like when yeah, Justin Wong brings yeah, he's, up that shit. He's yeah. just like, hey. yep, yeah. He has them on the ready, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Like he has a, a folder and label for Justin Wong. <laughs> Yeah, poor Justin Wong. Yeah, just for him, just for him. Just, just like a smiley face at mm -hmm. the end. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, people like loving it. I love it, and uh, yeah, I definitely they're, look. They're eating at McDonald's right now. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> so, yeah, because we're we're loving it. Yeah. Funny. It's funny you brought that up because Genshin did have their. Uh, uh, collaboration with McDonald's. Collab, yeah. yeah. To which I asked my boyfriend about it, and he said it wasn't even that good because it was like only a few. Yeah, um, it's like a few gems uh, or something. Gems. It's not even worth like. Yeah. The a meal or something. Else. Oh, yeah, because you have it's to like buy a specific one. meal for it on your app, and then you get the. Yeah. The, I think you do. I think you get the wings also, which, okay, that's whatever, but yeah, the gems is like, ah, come on. It's it's like you, you, you could give us something a little bit better. Don't at least a, don't at least a stuff. ten summon. Like, come on, man. Like at this point, like, come on. It is not gonna. It's not gonna cost you anything. You know. Yeah, it's just gonna cost us a meal. Just a meal. Yeah, That's a meal. not even. Yep. Like, come on, man. Oh yeah. It's Genshin Impact meal deluxe make crispy. Mm hmm. Or. Or oh. You can okay. just buy the um. Apple pie. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I th I think there were problems though. Um, people w uh trying to like get their codes or whatever, like the redemption code. Oh, and it wasn't going through. Yeah, that that wasn't going through. So yeah, a number of people on 
uh, Twitter were like, hey, my code didn't come or whatever. And then McDonald's was like, oh, yeah, DM us or yeah, DM us and we'll try to take care of it or something. So I don't know what happened from there. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at my McDonald's points. I'm two points away from being how much is this? 22,200. 22, oh, 20. Damn. Fuck. Yeah. Now, if I was triple six, or, or not triple six, just six right down the line, then that's when you say, ah, that's enough for me? <laughs> I actually haven't, haven't gone to McDonald's in a long ass time at this point. I, I, have, I, I don't remember the last time. Well, I think I guess it's on the app, so I can I can see when I when last time I ate at McDonald's, or from McDonald's rather. So okay, you save your guts. Yeah, no, I'm 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 better off without it, really. <laughs> anyway, all right, so that's it for that. Meanwhile, uh, another crossover. Uh, this one specifically referring to PUBG, if anyone remembers that game. But yeah, PUBG, yeah. yeah, PUBG Mobile, which is still doing pretty well, um, in some places, including like Russia and, um, I think China and Korea or whatever. But those areas, um, has a collaboration with Tekken Eight, and <laughs> I thought it was just looking hilarious with Jin Kazama holding a gun with the uh the Tekken skin on it. I don't know what that is. I think it's a looks like a Bison or something i don't know I, i'm not sure what that is but yeah it just looks funny with Jin holding a gun <laughs> oh man oh man it's it, it's like that image of that um akuma with the shotgun very iconic at this point and then he, of course you have ryu and uh chun li and fortnite along with what guile and stuff i think right is that correct um in Fortnite, I'm I, I know I'm forgetting one more character. Oh, it's oh it's Blanca. It's Blanca, yeah. Blanca. Blanca, yeah. But yeah, I thought it was kind of funny to look at Jin, quote unquote, with a gun. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's for PUBG, to be more specific. But yes, big one, another big one for fighting games. Heihachi himself. Has made his full comeback in the gameplay trailer. I think he's out now, uh, early access, and then he's almost uh, f officially out for everyone else. But let's just play the. Let's just play the trailer. I don't like this. He's sixteen. <laughs> Forever sixteen. 30th anniversary, I mean, man. I mean, on a technicality, yeah, we were 16 for those um, born, um, what's it called? During um, leap year. Oh, leap year, yeah, you're right. Yep. Same old man whooping ass. <laughs> Headbutts and all. Headbutts and all. He's got stances, follow ups. I do like how um, now he does more um, electric. Yeah, his uh, effects are more, has more colors. Look at how he flexes, man. Look at how he flexes. And you can hear it. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm dead. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm dead. Yep. That's his heat rush thing. He turns red, That's and he's got that... Sc the <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nothing. 
Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's also kind of funny. <laughs> Ozzy has seen that. How did you first survive? <laughs> you just see like an ordinary person. Did you even check the body? No. <laughs> right. No. It's like, well, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's how I smash a cockroach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that heel kick. Yeah. <laughs> yep, He's that's still stomp. going. <laughs> yep. I like this. This looks really cool. I know the fist that he calls upon for the young lightning, but mm -hmm. I thought he was like pointing up. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like a wrestler. <laughs> oh yeah, and he does the pose for the what do you call the main menu or whatever in seven. Hey. I don't know if people are complaining about it. Mm. I don't mind the voice. I just think that he's just in my head canon, the way he the the reason why he sounds like that is because he swallowed some lava, so his <laughs> vocal cords are are slightly Reju damaged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't sound the same when you fucking swallow seawater. <laughs> you sound like you're half dying. Yeah, especially if you're if you swam in the uh, oh, what's it called? The saltiest sea, the Dead Sea, I think it's called. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pretty dead. <laughs> oh, that's One drink from that, that's it. Okay, so it looks like early access is October first. Oh, so so I guess uh, all that early footage is just early. Like really early, early access for those um content creators. Yeah. yeah, okay, that makes sense. And then official release will be October fourth. So we're not too far away either way, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's just three days early access, but yeah, I mean it's something. Um. So we de we do have the outfits, which is over here. The let me I'm just, I'll just mute this. Um. Yeah, the one with the mask and the hat. That was really cool. I like that one. And then this is from uh, Seven, I believe. I do like that one. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Oh, uh, and then, yeah, this new stage. I like it. Looks pretty cool. And then new chapter in the story, which is a free update, so that's good. And then, yep, so... He is the third character, and we still have one more to fill in that slot. I just want to hear um, uh, Raven going like, you know, Hey, Hachimashima is dead. And then you just hear like a few seconds later, you fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> look, look to your right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hachi Mishima am I, is dead. <laughs> am, am I fired? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Now here's your paycheck. Boom! <laughs> your severance package. Boom! <laughs> That'd be, that would be hilarious. Um, but yeah. Yep. So happy to see the old man back. He looks cool. I like his rage art as well. Um, got the whole like domain expansion thing going on. I don't know where this is though, but um, yeah. And then yeah, uh, interesting that um, God damn, it's a punch. Interesting that you know when he glows like all red and stuff and flexing the what do you call the the fist scar like shows up you see right there right there on that chest um so yep looking good man looking pretty good glad to see i was gonna bring up with how he said you know die kazuya mm -hmm. <laughs> i just want like 
everyone who's trying to kill Kazuya just appears like, what the hell do you think we've been trying to do all these years? <laughs> <laughs> They're just staring at the Oh yeah, and then everyone's like, yeah, yeah everyone's like screen shooting uh, this particular frame right here of Kazuya. He's just like, just fucking hates his old man like so much. He's fucking done. He's so done. Like he's, God, he's like, God damn it, he's back again. <laughs> How do I kill this fucking old man? <laughs> Oh man, he, yeah, lot fucking calls lava measly, it's, dude. It's kind of funny that the scar almost looks like chest hair. It does. It kind of does look like chest hair a little bit. But yeah, it's a big ass fist though. He already I has mean, another he, scar right here, I, and now he has another one. Yeah, that's yeah, it was in his um, um, double, you know, double form. So yeah, that's why this is. I don't know. I don't. No, I don't think he was. He was in his uh normal form. Like it was like he was already like all tired and shit. If you, yeah, if we look at that very uh like final cutscene or whatever you call it during the fight, he was in his normal form, and then he just punches him in the chest, and then the purple shit comes out of his back, and it's like oh, and then dies, quote unquote, fake fake dies. Oh, I I want to see the interaction with the. Uh... With um Kuma. Oh yeah, that's right. They haven't. Yeah, that's right. Huh? That's right. Kuma would be like, "Master, you're here. Out of the way. Out of the way." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There, there is one meme I did want to show. Uh, it comes from Joseph the Hines. Uh, he did the same. He's this is the same person who did the um that one other meme that we saw like way back when before um the game launched for Tekken Eight. It's the one with um, Jin and Kazuya like just like cussing each other out, and then and then Kazuya just like he's like I fucked your mom. <laughs> the <end. laughs> That's the same one. So this one is I thought this was really funny. Hold on, let me uh get this all situated. Hold on. <laughs> that should be a dumb. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yep, that's pretty much the gist of that. And that that's why that's why Kazuya looks like this. <laughs> he just, he's had enough, man. <laughs> uh I, I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> I I like his I like his take on the laugh. It's <laughs> like a stereotypical anime villain laugh. Uh, show me a real anime villain laugh, and they're showing like the oh, 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 yeah. mm -hmm. and then they show up <laughs> fucking Pika's laugh. Oh God! What reason of like there it is. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Absolute cinema. <laughs> Absolute cinema. Yep. <laughs> All right. I think we uh, found it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, lastly, for uh, fighting games, uh, more relating to Mortal Kombat 1, Edwin himself on Twitter said... Um, Get good scrubs. Yeah, get good. Yeah, get good. No, he said, uh, love the fact that there is excitement for our next game, and I don't want to be a stickler for words, but we haven't been working on our next game uh, for three years already. The actual quote was that we knew what our next game was going to be three years ago. NetherRealm is fully committed to supporting Mortal Kombat 1 for a long time to come. Uh, so, yeah. So... Uh, for those who are wondering, like, oh, are we gonna get a good Mortal Kombat two ish already? Like, no. Um, we're definitely no. gonna be sticking with too, this one. Too yeah. um, too early. Too early, yeah. Um, and though Sonic Fox said, put actual two v two in the game. Yeah, they had that. You remember the uh, the tag mode or whatever you call it? And was it nine? I think it was nine. Mortal Kombat nine. Um. Yeah, some people are asking for Shaolin Monks. 
That'd be kind of cool, actually. Uh, cool, but uh, good luck. <laughs> yeah. That would be pretty nice. Mm, but yeah, um, you know. I, I'll, I'll tell you straight up, it's not going to be fucking injustice right now. Yeah, it's definitely not. No, no. I think the uh, the DC part of things is kind of like in yeah, kind of a rough DC spot. Part, yeah. I, they mm-hmm. they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I yeah. think they need the uh, the whole um, they need their own flashpoint at this point. Mm-hmm. The um the movies has been kind of a mess. The movie situation. What do you mean? <laughs> the flash was beautiful. The flash. <laughs> Even with the fucking CGI babies being thrown into a fucking, uh, not toaster, but a microwave. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't want the context of that. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, take and, it as you will. Yeah, and then not to mention the the whole situation with Suicide Squad is, um, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's been a mess of its own. What do you mean? Everyone loved that game. You know, it it did so well to pay um, you know, respects for. I I can't fucking say that in the straight. Face. <laughs> <laughs> just just thinking about it pisses me off. Yeah. Big huge disappointment from Rocksteady. Huge disappointment. But yeah. Um. This particular oh <laughs> so there's a um uh a particular screenshot i can't find the original screenshot damn it but um maybe i can find it but just from it's okay we'll make do but um anyway so the context oh boy soul boy <laughs> Sorry. uh almost almost i almost got it there we go Um, there was a particular frame of him sitting down with uh, Liu Kang. Like, I guess he's like talking to him about something, and someone was like, basically, like, like, oh, look at, look at, you know, look at this. Like, he, he looks like he's being like counseled or like, um, he's being told like he's in trouble or something at school. <laughs> so I, mean, I did see one like that, but the caption was, um. <laughs> Why is uh, why is Noob Saibot sitting down like I'm at the like how I do at the doctor's office? Yeah, the doctor's office. Yeah, I think that's the <laughs> one I'm looking for. Yeah, that's the one I'm. <laughs> What's going on with his frames? <laughs> My Disney princess. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Um. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> some some funny memes coming out with uh, Noob Saibot. So. <laughs> Some something's going on. I don't want to look at that story. I haven't seen the story. Damn it, dude. Um, I thought it'd be like one of the top ones, but whatever. So anyway, there's a there's a uh, a meme edited, and it's taking the frame, and now yeah, now it's basically he's actually like in a therapist room or something. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> remember you this is a safe place <laughs> you can you are safe you can say anything you want <laughs> i can hear the voices okay <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have to put and bring you know raise the uh the medication chest <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit. It's like, he's talking to a psychiatrist <laughs> yeah. oh man <laughs> remember, remember, new. Uh, you know, like the those memes, like uh, they can't hurt you, or saying their name cannot hurt you. Mm-hmm. You're safe here. You can say the. You can say his name. Luke Kang <laughs> just pops in. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, he 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 is a a god, so or elder god, or whatever you call it. So he he can do that, pretty much. The fuck you said about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> talking <laughs> shit. You talking shit about me? Oh, there you go. Uh, that, that's that. Well, that's the original frame, but the caption is yeah. different. He looks like he just threw up at school. <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh. I love that there's like a pillow and everything. Like <laughs> the context, man, is just out of the window. That is so funny. Anyway. There's always something about MK that just spawns those sort of um memes. It's it's hilarious. All right, so let's get it right into smash. Your pass. smash your... <laughs> um, let's get it right into the front line side of things. So let's hit this. All right, so um, this one, yes. So this is the price of the anniversary edition of the PlayStation 5 Pro, right? Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, it's PlayStation, the old PlayStation and all, but it costs a thousand bucks in the US. <laughs> yeah. A thousand big ones, right? Fuck, I can't find this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Three thousand dollars. Um, yeah. I tried to get uh a pre order pre order in for the controller, but dude, it, that shit was oh, okay. the waiting. Uh, I was like looking at you, it's like, what the fuck you mean? Why are you gonna buy this? No, the You're controller. Be one of the problems. <laughs> no, the controller I was looking for, but um, the what do you call it, the waiting line was like too long, so I went to bed. <laughs> I went to bed for that shit, man. Hell no. You you pretty much did the SpongeBob. Hey, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, it looks cool, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not losing sleep over it for sure. Because I had work the next morning or the next, yeah, the following morning, or whatever. Um, yeah. yeah, and of course, people are already scalping it for three thousand dollars at least. Oh. Of course, and um. I hope to get my hands on it when it actually comes out, but yeah, on the controller that is. The console itself can go fuck its fuck its own face or something, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, um, you know, it looks it does look just, cool. Just, yeah. It looks cool, but just seeing that the uh, this slot mm -hmm. for reader is separate is like yeah, heartbreaking. It is. It is, and then like the extra little like kicking the nuts is the stand being separate and it costs, stand. costs you 30 bucks like why dude this is a fucking stand like why why charge us like that it's 30 bucks like what the fuck but whatever how um if i if if i was crazy enough to get one for whatever fucking reason um i would just have it flat at that point i'm not gonna you know Go that far, I guess. Even though I already went that far. <laughs> anyway, um, no, but no, I'm definitely not getting this um, console. Of course, I want the controller the most out of this whole thing. Uh, but even then, it's like you still have the problem of like of the whole stick drift issue and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe would I just want to keep it in the box? I don't know. I have no idea. One of my one of my controller one of my black controllers, which is like supposed to be one of the newer ones, is already like kind of drifting. So I'm like, ugh, I'm like rolling my eyes. It's Tokyo drifting right now. Ah, uh, yeah, right. So I because I noticed that in Apex, like, um, the little cursor on your when you're on the main menu, it like drifts a little bit to the right. I'm like, oh my god, God, please no. Yeah, it's all because they don't want to. They don't want to. Um, use the the uh, I don't I don't know what the word is for, but uh, module or whatever for the stick. They don't want to use like the actual good module. They want to like cheap out on the module. That's that's literally why they um have the stick stick drift issue. They can literally fix it like just like that, but they don't choose it because they want to cheap out on the whole man manufacturing bullshit. It's so dumb. And then, of course, try to fucking milk us out of our money. And then, of course, it's like, oh, but why don't you just buy the pro version or the pro controller, right? For the PlayStation and just buy the st uh, the uh, the individual sticks, which is what, what, 20 bucks each. That would be a solution, but 
they for, they of course sell out super fast. And not to mention, right, what's even more fucked up, I think, I could be wrong, I think those sticks on the limited edition ones are slightly different in color. So if you want to be like all authentic or whatever, um, you're kind of screwed, right? If you want a replacement, in a sense, if if I am correct on that part, but maybe they are the same color. I I I could be totally uh, misreading that or mis looking or mistaking on that. But either way, this the stick drift situation of itself is also a shitty one. And, um, you know, same, of course, same with Nintendo, but yeah, PlayStation is another, another problem as well, relating to the whole stick drift thing. It's, it's so stupid. It's, but you know why they're doing that. They're, you know why they're kind of like fucking dancing around the bush or beating around the bush. It's because they want to, um, get the money as much as possible, especially with what happened. Especially what what happened with um, Concord, because it cost them so much money that it it yep. people are coming up with the conspiracy that they're just inflating all these prices or just like trying to gouge out us of the money to make up for the costs, right? Of, of uh, Concord, because um, of course. yeah, and they can't they can't write it off as um uh, as a you know, tax break or whatever. So yeah, 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 yeah. Like tax break. Right like how WB did. Yeah. All their projects. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, so that's a fucked up situation there, if that is the case. Especially with Concord, apparently, apparently, I'm just going to say apparently, costing um $400 million or somehow. It's ridiculous. Because they're like trying to, especially with like the scope that, um, or the vision they're trying to go for with this was that they're trying to make Concord like the next Star Wars. Yeah, no way, right? Like, with, especially with those character designs, no fucking way. I think to be fair though, the 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 quality of the the cinematic stuff was good, and I think that's where a lot of the money went. But everything else was just like very mid, and then the character designs was awful. You know, we've already talked about that, and so yeah, like all all that like pretty much seems to be a repercussion, right, of why these things are expensive as fuck right now, right? So, anywho, that is the gist of that. Yes, the PlayStation Five is a rip off, and a rip off again. <laughs> Um, this one up next, um, it was something that came out last week, but, um, I wanted to talk about that during then, but I somehow forgot, uh, uh and, uh, we missed it, unfortunately, but this is the collaboration of Sonic the Hedgehog and, um, DC. So let me see, um, it's right here. Uh, let me just skip right into the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Got Shadow the Hedgehog being Batman. It looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. No, I just want him to uh, grab somebody, hang them upside down, and just scream. Well, in Keanu's voice. Mm -hmm. Where are the other trucks going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ke the Keanu. Yeah, yeah. Keanu Shadow. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. Where to be? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, um,. Yeah, there's a lot of talking, and then uh, they already like tease Sonic a little bit, and he they're making him like Flash, which makes which makes sense, um, because you know speed, and then there's a the thing of Shadow right there looks pretty cool. I like this like design. I like how they what they did with the shoes and the color scheme and everything. Um, I I I I would have never thought I've seen 
shadow with a cape on, but yeah. Not a bad uh iteration of Shadow or Shadow Batman. And then like the meme right now is um Maria being Red Hood because you know because I'm sure you you know the origin of Red Hood. Yeah. yeah so they're making this so, um fans are fan arting pretty much uh um Maria as uh Red Hood. So I there was like a there was one I thought that was really a really cool idea. That would be pretty um funny and sick at the same time. And and a and a grim reminder that yes, um Maria got shot. <laughs> um on yeah, top she fought the law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she fought the law mm -hmm. and the law won. Yeah. On top of that, the uh first episode for the little web series for um Shadow the Sonic Shadow Generation stuff, Dark Beginnings did come out and it's absolutely just awesome. It's a little it's a little web web short thing, but yeah, it's really cool. Um he even has a screenshot of what was it? Oh there we go. Like it's it's pretty fucked up, but yeah, it's like pretty cool admittedly of how they like showed off Maria a little bit. It's like a dream sequence. And then uh Shadow snaps out of it and he's like, oh shit, it's present day. Yeah. Um But yeah, it's like actually nice to see you know, the story actually being fleshed out a little bit. Because if you look at, you know, the story as is in Adventure 2, it's like, eh, very, very rough. Very rough at that point. Um, But now they're, like, actually taking it a little more seriously. So I liked seeing that. You know, and being, like, very stylish about it. You know? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm like... I'm like preparing myself for Sonic Three, man. That should, like, I hope they do that scene right. I hope they do it right. With um, Shadow and Maria and Gerald, and then right here too, it looks really cool because they actually showed what happened to the moon after the fact. Yeah, it got blown up by um space colony arc. I definitely want to see that in the movie too. I hope they do that. It'll, that'll be pretty sick. So yeah, um, Year of Shadow, definitely. It's still the Year of Shadow. And um, for some odd, some odd reason, they're cooking up a, a Sonic and DC collaboration. Especially with the things that have been going on with DC right now. Like we were just talking about. Okay, so up next, this uh, is involving with the state of play that PlayStation had. Um, right around the same time with Tokyo Game Show or whatever. Um, and overall, it was kind of a sleeper-ish, depending on who you are, but I'd say it's a kind of a sleeper. That being said, um, there's an update for Astrobot, um, with more bots and more levels, type of stuff. Midnight Walk, that's for the, P uh, the VR side of things. Um... There's a game called Hell Is Us. Another VR game called uh, Metro Awakening. So that's from the Metro series. Um, Arc Age, uh, Chronicles. Um, coming next year. This one's kind of funny. But this is a PAL world. Right? Coming to PS5. Admits of fucking getting sued by Nintendo and Pokemon Company. Um, Lunar Remastered uh, Collection was announced. Uh, that's coming next year of spring. Uh, more stuff for Shredder's Revenge for you know for t Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Radical Reptiles DLC. Okay, I guess oh yeah, it's out now, and then they announced a movie pack for uh, Sonic and uh, Sonic uh, Sonic X Shadow. Um, yep. Gen uh, generations which uh will be voiced with keanu reeves you know for for the movie shadow right the movie version of shadow so that's kind of nice fantasian neo dimension out in december 5th dragon age veil vale guard um do you do you play uh, dragon age 
No. No. Okay. I do not. Okay. I I, th- I thought you'd be at least somewhat familiar with the Dragon Age stuff. Um, um I I I know of it yeah. because um I you I used to watch Felicia Day, you know, play it a lot and mm-hmm. promote it a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, I never played the games for myself. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Got you. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah you, you consume it through somebody else's experience, essentially. Yeah. Alan Wake 2, The Lake House, uh, was also announced. Hitman VR game. Uh, Legacy of Kane, Soul, Reaver... One and two being remastered by Aspire. Um, hmm. Take that as you will. Fear the Spotlight. I think it's like an indie game or something. Um, Towers of Agas- Agashpa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Lego hmm. Fortnite split screen, I guess. And there is a dual sense controller for, for Fortnite limited edition. Um, looks all right, I guess for anyone who really likes uh, Fortnite. Um, but, you know, you're still going to deal with the stick drift anyway. But, you know. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Okay. So this is one of the big ones, at least for one of us anyway. Um, Dynasty Warriors Origins. How are you feeling about this one so far? Did you uh, take a look at this? Piece of shit. <laughs> I say it's a piece of shit because... They're stopping at Chibi, which is one of the one of the biggest battles. Mm. Uh, and there's more history that comes right after, but with them in their little um, segment during the Tokyo Game Show saying, all right, oh yeah, we're stopping at Chibi. is like, why? Mm, interesting. All the other games went from, went from beginning straight to the end. Mm-hmm. Why are we stopping at GB and then knowing how Koi Tecmo is doing is you know doing well doing at the moment mm-hmm. they're probably gonna milk it yeah yeah that's what like, I figured they're gonna be like because after Chibi it's um it's another big battle mm-hmm. and it's like um well there's a couple of big battles one of them is um the betrayal of the Wu Kingdom. Mm. Uh, to the uh, shoe kingdom so i so some i'm thinking it's like oh yeah that's gonna be like dlc one mm-hmm. the dlc two is gonna be the next big battle and then dlc three is gonna be where the game should actually end and and then they'll come out with dynasty warriors origin um extreme legends which mm-hmm. what they always they, they always do yes extreme, yeah mm-hmm. extreme legend is pretty much whatever fixes they had with the base game and added new features mm-hmm. so i'm like mm, yeah i think this this might be their uh, their little um mo mm-hmm. yeah i'm gonna do this shit yeah. again mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah um we do have monster hunter wilds i'm i'm excited for this one um i do look forward to that one i believe it's coming out for all platforms or all major platforms uh on this yeah, date which is february 28th of next year so big big month big month um because that's also the same around the same time for like uh what was it like a dragon pirate yakuza um i believe and the um, other some other games too i th- oh even uh oh, what was it um Assassin's Creed Shadows, because they like actually delayed it to that yeah, month particularly. They that. Yeah, they did delay it. Um, I think there is a uh, reason with, why, but oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, with Wilds, mm-hmm. there is there is a physical collector's edition that caught, but it's only in Japan. Put that, you know, ah, like hit that <laughs> really hard, ah. Like just, just, just like, mm, like motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, try find that tweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, find a tweet. We'll play this video. It looks beautiful. Uh, here it is. Mm. I found the. Well, it's not a tweet, but uh, it's a screenshot. Oh, sorry. Uh, did you send it to me or? Oh, I'm trying to grab the, the picture. Yeah, okay. I'm sending it to you right now. It's a screenshot 
it's only in Japan, and it's like I, I forgot the yen, but you translate, you, you know, you convert, convert it. it yeah, like it's like a hundred fifty something like that. Around there, yeah, at the moment. So I just sent it to you, and congratulations, you get a fucking bike. Oh wow, in you Japan. get a, you get a bike. You, wow, you get a bike. You get a bike. Okay, I don't know about the colors. I wish the green was a little deeper, or like like a darker green. But um, okay, I mean it's a bike, so. A bike, but it's only it's only region locked to Japan. Yeah, yeah. The the no the bike only works in Japan. <laughs> You imagine that. <laughs> it's like, Let's see, like hey, I, why can't pedal? Me, yeah, I cannot pedal. Why can't I? Your global positioning is not <laughs> accordance to, to to Japan, like yeah, uh, uh, Wi-Fi or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you have to fucking Nord VPN the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine VPN for a bike? <laughs> But um, okay. <laughs> I have to go through like a one hour, like kind of like a little small banter with my friend because mm -hmm. he wanted a physical, you know, collector's edition with a statue. Mm -hmm. And I was like saying, like, you you realize that this is a separate team, right? They're not gonna have a lot of money to yeah. to one like another friend jumped in to make the modes because the modes are going to be fucking expensive mm -hmm. by itself right um the reason why nintendo was able to do statues in the form of um uh these fuckers is because mm -hmm. they're tiny mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you don't need to put a lot of um emphasis on the uh on the details yeah details yeah if you want statue statue, yeah, the modes are gonna cost a lot. Yeah. And I was like trying to explain to him, it's like like um we only have whatever we have on the uh the website mm -hmm. and that's our collectors. Yeah. It's gonna be like your steel book and you're gonna have your digital uh what you call your digital art book. Yeah. Maybe soundtrack. And depending yeah. and soundtrack and depending and depending what version you have um you will have like the you already prepaid for the um season pass mm -hmm. or whatever it's called mm -hmm. and that's it yeah so you either get the base game or this or that mm -hmm. and he's like oh no no there, there's gonna be a uh a physical you know collector's edition lo and behold it's right here it's like well it is but but I kept trying to tell him, it's like, well, what you were trying to say about a collector's edition, it must have a statue. In, in a technicality, this is not a collector's edition, there because it has no statue. Therefore, it's not a true collector's edition. Mm. Mm -hmm. But again, you you were just going back and forth, you know, like playful bit of batter, but still, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit of a debate, like, yeah. You know, and then I had to kind of like also ring in like Capcom as a, as a company right now. They're not doing that well right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like Street Fighter. Like he tried to bring up like Street Fighter because I told him at the end of the day, Monster Hunter is still a niche game. Like, mm -hmm. yes, it's big now, but it's still a niche game. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to and we're trying to compare it to like Street Fighter. Street Fighter is not a niche game. Everyone and their grandmother knows what the fuck Street Fighter is. Yeah. Yeah, in comparison to Monster Hunter, yeah. But um, sad to say, Street Fighter Six did sell well, but it did not sell well. It, you know, you it didn't make like a whole it. bunch of fucking yeah. yeah. It's not not like it did not know. hit the revenue that um Capcom was expecting or hoping. Yeah. Again, I had to tell them like Square, um, fucking Capcom, all the other. All these big video game companies, they have such a high expectations on sales. It's mm -hmm. fucking stupid. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, it, it's it, there. I was like, they're being still run by dinosaurs mm -hmm. that yeah. kind of get with like, like they expect like a million sales to be hit in like twenty four hours. It's like, uh, yeah. what? <laughs> 
excuse me yeah especially especially with um rebirth you know seven rebirth man like yeah square that. yes because i had to tell him straight up <laughs> square thing outright written off of rebirth as a failure yeah and it's like and he's like but it's doing good yes yes the game is good it's fantastic yeah. But in Square's eyes, because they did not sell enough units, it's mm-hmm. considered as a failure. Yeah. They're all they don't low. care. They, they, mm-hmm. they, they, they care about the scores, but they don't care about the scores. They only care yeah. about did we meet did we meet a thousand a hundred hundred million sold copies? No. Failure. Mm-hmm. It's like I mean it could be like we um they made like nine nine hundred thousand ninety 999 and you know they just need that one more before the time you know that timer hits mm-hmm. and they still keep they will make that as a, fl- a failure because it did not meet the fucking expectation yeah which again i'm sorry to say kids that's that's how it is yep it's uh how business goes in those countries you know it's uh kind of rough when it comes to that particular thing uh not gonna go through the whole trailer but uh, you know just like a couple stuff like yeah a couple monsters. new monsters yes. um during their gameplay they show like the new area which is here called like i believe called the scarlet forest mm-hmm. and there are areas you can fish and the fishing looks like past you know monster hunters but it's more um you're more engaged. Think of um the fishing like right there. Think mm-hmm. of the fishing from fifteen. Mm-hmm. You know, like the the little fishing mini game. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Okay. Um. So there is an area of uh, we're gonna call it the fishing pole. Okay. That it looks like it's ready. It's it's gonna hopper for a long time fan favorite monster to returning to return because it never seen the light of day since the fucking 3ds era mm-hmm. because for some reason it's hard to animate the damn thing yet you had like um the lava snake and the lava fish and it's like that was that's pretty much it yeah you changed the environment to water and profit <laughs> oh and rise you had the the, the mud um the mud um dragon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. A couple of little tweaks and oh, we have a new monster or new wyvern or whatever you call it. Um the the one with the I'm gonna call it the Phoenix Phoenix Tails because that's what um it looks like when it on its own um, arm. Yes. Uh, I believe they said that's the new flagship monster for this generation. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Smash. <laughs> God damn it, man. And I, I do like, like how um, you can now, you know, with certain weapons, you can hold, you know, hold the monster in place, which. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted, like, since I want to see Monster Hunter 2. Mm-hmm. With, like, weapons that you can block, you can hold it, or, you know, like, let's say you you got hit with a big with a big um, attack, mm-hmm. and, you know, you're rolling on the fucking ground, and you're trying to get up. I can come, you know, with my great sword, come in front of you and do the whole mm-hmm. <laughs> blocking, like, hurry up, get your ass up. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd so be it, it, sick, yeah. Yeah, so and they brought it finally here. So it took mm-hmm. from first Monster Hunter all the way now. Yeah, that's a big geez. ass <laughs> wait fucking time gap or mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it. Yeah, long time waiting. Yeah, so that's the okay. That's the poster boy essentially for Wilds. Okay. Yeah, and then people are making the uh, uh, what's it called comparison to. Let me, let me check if this was the uh, not generation. Is it just for you? Mm. Okay. Uh, in a separate tab, put in Master Hunter for you. Master for you. Okay. okay yeah. 
Um, oh, yeah. Click on the um, box art. Box art. Okay. All right. Now flash back to the screenshot to the other tab. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. They're re- they're pretty much doing you know like it's either paying homage or they're just you know using the same uh setup. Mm-hmm. But just like just, just they just move the pieces. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can kind of see the kind of see the comparison, yeah, especially with the the green field or whatever you call it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. Guy using hammer. Yeah. Hunter using two hunters using hammer. Two hunters are using um heavy bow gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you're just missing the other two hunters. Right. There's another one. Yeah, this is one in the back. It looks like a great sword oh, or something. Oh, and yeah. great sword. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. I like how my friend was like, oh, you will never... Um, With this um iteration of Monster Hunter, your, ch- your charge slashes are never going to miss because you can aim it. It's like, no. I'm going to purposely... Perfect. I'm going to do it on purpose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Why did you miss? Uh, like, uh, my my controller drifted. I mm. I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you're playing on PlayStation, yeah, you can make the excuse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and then that's the other thing. It's it's cross cross play, everybody. So yeah, it took hey! us this fucking long. Took but us that I long. still mm-hmm. I still want cross save. Because, oh, and right. I had to kind of, kind of argue, yeah. which I don't know why. And they're like, "Why do you need cross save?" I was like, "Yes, my main, you know, my main stuff is gonna be on PS5. But what if I so I haven't got a gaming laptop, mm-hmm. and I wanted to play on the go? Yeah, and they're like, you're, you're gonna double dip. It's like, please, please tell me there's no one on this fucking planet at the moment that has never, that has not." Double dip mm-hmm. for a game yet, yeah, and come back to me because mm-hmm. I had to kind of like use my other friend as example. I was like, he double dip for Rise. I double dip for to Rise. play on. <laughs> right, he double dip just now to play fucking uh, what's it called? Uh, World mm-hmm. Iceborne. You fucking double dip to fucking play that game. What's the difference? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are you calling me out on that double dipping? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then and then I was like, and then the whole Capcom ID, the, that thing has to be fucking used for something mm-hmm. either than cross um cross play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should be able to save your data there. Right. Yeah. But mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we can. Uh, all the save but, data. Yeah, bonus, you will, so. you'll have um yeah you have DLC uh, or save data bonuses. So oh, that's... do not erase your save data <laughs> yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. Yeah, I didn't say anything about rise, unfortunately, but hmm, it is what it is. Yeah, no one cares. Well, it's because Rise is not. It's a it's a Monster Hunter game, but it's not a main staple game. Mm, if that makes it's like sense. a little bit of a spin off. Yeah, you okay. think of Rise as um, the spin off games. Yeah, got you. Yeah, because um, the main staple of Monster Hunter games they always reference the previous generation. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's why, like, for a uh, world, we're called Fibers because we're the fifth generation oh, of hunters. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wilds are, we're probably going to be called Sixers or something with the number six. Yeah, okay, okay. That's interesting. And that, um, I believe it's the Weaponsmith. Her outfit is reminiscent of, I believe it's either Boss Hunter 4 or 3. I want to say 4. 
because she has like yellow and blue mm. um, coloration. Okay, okay. I don't think I can find it exactly here, but yeah. That's your handler. That's the handler. I don't know who that's supposed she... to be. Uh... That's your son. But you don't know <laughs> that's your son. No, and I'll be like, wait, I can't have a son. Why? I'm gay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Dead. 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 You have died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for the mods for um for this game for PC because you know, like in World and Wild, you had like fucking Randy Savage as um like the like one of the monsters, Thomas the Jet, um, Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas like, like, the Jet Engine. <laughs> I mean, imagine, right? <laughs> JJ the plane. You know, hey, why not? <laughs> but yes, um, um yeah. mixed. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, we got gestures, hairstyle, bunch of stuff, layered armor. Okay. DLC East. Cosmetic DLC and packs. I told, mm-hmm. And I hope people know. For those watching and those who know with um, Max's channel and so. Hope those player these um upcoming hunters know that. <laughs> Good luck trying to get inside his sessions. Good yeah, luck. Good luck. Because I, I know for a guarantee that the ones that will make it into the sessions is either it's gonna be Chris, Keters, Tiff. Yeah, mods, probably basically. me. Yeah, probably me on some occasions. Mm-hmm. Unless fucking Max turns on Net Duma again. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I don't know, I haven't seen him use that do one like did it did that thing die like does no one use it anymore i don't know well doesn't he have his own like internet thing <laughs> yeah, he has his own internet but still like... yeah <sighs> but playstation but yeah i'm going to get the premium bonus because you know we can why not yeah just why not but i think at the moment you can only buy the digital version of the game because um i tried i i called my old boss from gamestop and mm-hmm. asked him like hey is the pre-orders from monster hunter um wilds up yet and he's like oh no not yet mm-hmm. and then i had to really like make my voice sound like uh liam mason from um take one movie oh take yeah, it take it yeah yeah he's like you will call me, right? <laughs> I, I will find you. I know where you live. <laughs> Jeez. After that Monster Hunter pre order, man. Shoot. <laughs> Day one. I mean, he, he was the one that helped me um, secure the world's um, collector's edition. Mm, okay. I see. This. <laughs> When it when it first when Worlds One first dropped in the system and he was closing, mm-hmm. so I guess you know, for us, at the time of closing for here, it was already up in like the East Coast. <laughs> so he's like, "How fast can you get down here?" I was like, "Why well, the the pre order is up already? I can let the uh, I can have the store be open for like another." 10 or 20 minutes all right i'm on my way Zoom. oh my god <laughs> got there in 10 <laughs> more like i got there in five it's a 15 minute drive and Jesus i fucking Christ. zoomed damn dude hey, hey, hey on my defense i was at my cousin's house mm-hmm. so it was closer so that's mm-hmm. why i was able to zoom in. <laughs> so on my defense okay do not do that anybody do not you know go zoom yeah for a video game because you, <laughs> you might go into you might get in an accident or yeah. the cops might show up mm-hmm. or all of the above mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and then it would be like a weird ass thing to say to the cops, like, you know, sir, why were you driving this, you know, fast at this time? What, yeah. what, what, what <laughs> I know at this time, what, what was your emergency? Uh, Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter World. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Get in here. Everything. That'd be funny if you got an actual like police escort for Monster Hunter Worlds. <laughs> that'd be that'd be funny. All right, so that'd be funny, and then my boss would be like, "What did you do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. What did you right? do? And <laughs> yeah, and whose dick did you suck? <laughs> it's like, sir, sir. <laughs> I don't state business." Mm -hmm. <laughs> My clientele's names are confidential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, on the other side, right? Um, Horizon Zero Dawn got Why? a remaster. Yeah, it actually got a remaster. It actually happened. So if you already have the game, uh, it's just ten dollars to upgrade. So at least they gave that option. Okay, fine, right? But it's like. Why? 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 Why this game? Why did you know? What? But why though? Yeah. Yeah. That that effort could have been put into trying to get um I don't know something like Bloodborne or something on PS5, 60 frames, all that stuff. You know, a lot of people have been still asking for. Uh... Sony's going to listen to their fans about what they want. Yeah. And they got a Lego game too, like that, with for uh, Horizon. Oh yeah, the, mm -hmm. the Lego game. Yep, it looks cute. It look, yeah. Oh, th those games are always cute, I guess. Oh, it's not. It's I not... think the only Lego, the Lego game I really played, like from start to finish, was the um first uh, Star Wars mm. okay. Lego game. Okay. So it's not. Just... I don't know how many years that uh, mm -hmm. years ago that was, but yeah. yeah. So I guess it's not just Horizon. There's like references and stuff for um Sony stuff. You got like um Sackboy and um Ratchet, all that stuff. The even the chick from the new Ratchet and Clank game. I forget her name, but yeah. Um. But. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. Stellar Blade also got some sort of a collaboration. Uh, this time being Ooh, with that's... uh near autonoma right or near automata depending on how you want to pronounce it stellar blade uh also got some sort of update too just to kind of throw that in there um where they actually it's like a graphical update yeah? or something like that it, okay so they updated the animations for them parts you know basically uh they de they deal away it mm -hmm. away to fight it so basically, um, they up the animations for you know the boobs, right? So now they actually like press as well as jiggle and stuff. That's I'm like, oh, that's okay. Wow, huh? They actually put effort into that part. Oh, okay. And then some people in the comments were like, now I have a reason to buy the game. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it is impressive. For people who demoed it, but yeah, I, I'm like, damn, man, people are fucking horny for that game. Y'all horny. Yeah, y'all are mm, thirsty. <laughs> which, which is uh, hypocritical of me <laughs> for saying that. Right, as you know, you try to chase lichen. You know, you you know what's funny. Speaking of lichen, shut up. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, hold on. Speaking speaking of lichen, I actually got another lichen on the standard banner because uh I I I I, I um I was like close to pity so I was like oh, oh. So you just you just did a hell, hell mary and just said, well, well it's not really a hell mary because it's like um I got the master tape or you call it from the battle pass mm -hmm. I'm like oh I'll just throw that in the standard pass or standard banner because that's like what else can I do <laughs> and then I got lichen I was like oh shit all right. Um, his C1, I guess, is good. I mean, it's only, I mean, they're all going to be helpful, of course, but yeah. They're all going to be. Yeah. I uh, just, mm -hmm. like, uh, my liking is also C1, so mm -hmm. I, if, I, if I'm if i desperate and if I have, um you know, extra cash, <laughs> I'll, I'll try chase it because I, I do want that um uh, 
it's about all oh, the art the banner yeah the art mm-hmm. of course. i mean so for now i i have been half naked <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i i could put seth mm-hmm. but then i was like i'm kind of getting tired of um like twinks mm, you I, want the i i need i need I need muscle. I need mass. You mean the yeah? You want the big boy, the big boys. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, PlayStation Plus is still going on with this time, um, Two K Twenty Four, Dead Space, and Doki Doki. If anyone remembers that game, um, back in a couple of years back or several years back, I should say, the classic side of things has well, Dino Crisis. Well, oh my God, Dino Crisis, you know, <laughs> right. Blood Omen <laughs> Legacy of Kane. That's also another one. Um Last of Us Part One, I guess, coming to the catalog. Uh September twenty sixth. Whoop de doo. Oh, but look at this. Now PlayStation finally came out with some cover stuff, right? Plus finally. Look at that. They do look kinda cool. But how much, right? How much is it? Well, it's more like they do kind of look cool, but here's my oily hand. Yeah. <laughs> these are, yeah, these are the finishes that probably will show up a lot of fingerprints. It's, got, it's called a Chroma Collection. If I were to get one, I would, I would probably get the Indigo one because it's blue, essentially. And I like blue. Yabba-dee, but da Pretty much. <laughs> I'm fucking sure in the same brain cells. Yeah, I know. <laughs> pretty much. Um, and then I guess I guess they're just mentioning like what works with PlayStation Pro, right? The PlayStation 5 Pro. Okay, here's the big one, too. Um Ghost of Tsushima 2. Uh pretty much well, it's called uh Ghost of Yote. And it features a brand new protagonist, which has been a talk of the town. Um, it's it f- takes place um, like several years after. Yes, I believe the, um, it's after. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not Jin Sakai anymore or Sakai Jin, whatever. Um, it is somebody else. I I don't know if they gave her name, but I've, I'm otherwise I've, I I forgot. Um, but the game looks beautiful, of course. Right, got that style to it, realism and style. And yeah, um, you know, uh, because of what's going on with like Assassin's Creed Shadows and stuff like that, um, people are a little like, oh, it's a female protagonist. Like, where's my Japanese male samurai protagonist or whatever? You know, not everyone, but like you know, there's that there's that group of people. And they're like doing the whole, oh, it's wild woman, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That you know, you know those people, right? Mm-hmm. And um, to kind of like in the cherry on top of that situation is that the actress playing the English side of of this character, right? Is um Erica Ishii. Erica yep. Ishii is the actress who or voice or voice actress who voices uh, Valkyrie from Apex Legends. And other such um, uh, stuff too, but you know well, that's one of her well-known roles, and uh, and you know she is to be fair pretty vocal about the 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 actual woke stuff, right? Yeah. Which is why those um, people, let's just call them, I guess, are kind of like up in arms about it. Um, they're not people; they're they're things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just people on Twitter, you know. Because, yeah, most people, I, I would say, don't care about it. Um, I don't care. Like, this looks sick. I, I like the, I like to go to Tsushima, so I want to definitely get back into it. Um, yeah, there's not really much else about it. It's just, you know, go, it's, it's a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima, you know? And I'm sure they'll do more with the style, hopefully. And that's it. That was the end of it. Um, definitely, like Yote was the big, the big one for this state of play. But otherwise, um, not so much else ish, right? Again, depending on who you are. 
the other controversial one was yes the remaster for um zero dawn it's like why right and obviously the release date for uh, monster hunter wilds right has been confirmed and yeah you know um power world's still coming those who want to play on playstation any other comments or what did you think of this state of play if you have anything else to say average yeah so it's like like you 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 take away you know the big one which was monster hunter wilds and yote yeah you just mm-hmm. in Gil, in yote, that's it <laughs> I mean, yeah. you pretty much have an average yeah yeah which pretty... I, mm-hmm. I i think like when it comes to like uh what's it called um st- well not state of play but um, shows like this, mm-hmm. where it's just like the Xbox show, the Nintendo show, mm-hmm. um, showcase and stuff like that. When you think about it, I think Nintendo does a better job because <laughs> they yeah, have two different versions. They're the ones who started all like kind of yeah. they they fired up fire on um, they essentially ignited that trend and uh, told all the companies like hey. You can do this yourself. You don't know, you don't need E3 and other such things. And plus E3 is like expensive as expensive as fuck on top of like all the other logistic problems and whatever had that it had in the first place. So yeah, that's you know, to be fair, they're the ones who popularized that. But I, I, I enjoy Nintendo's ones more because they have two different one is for like the actual like this is in-house nintendo mm-hmm. this is all our games and then they have their indie side mm-hmm. it's like oh okay so you you yes. have like two different flavors mm-hmm. yeah yeah you're separating the audiences that way you don't have like oh i don't want to see indie games on this one i know or, it's like you know. it's like why why are we seeing like six different farm farm bill or mm-hmm. farm games mm-hmm. And yeah, only yeah. like one, uh, one Pokemon game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although to be fair, even the in-house one, quote unquote, had a bunch of farming simulators. <laughs> <laughs> Although I I found that very very funny at the time. That that was actually happening. Okay. So pretty average state of play. It did its thing. It did its job. Um, and that's essentially it. So yeah, uh, we're talking about Erica Ishii thing. Uh, yes, she is blocking people on Twitter, but it's like, you know, um, such a, okay, I'm not blocked. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, there's those people like, oh, I'm blocked. So I'm right. Or, you know, like that, you know, you know, that kind of mentality oh i you know i won because i got blocked by yeah. this person you know that nonsense it's like it's like, it's like weird flex but okay mm, yeah, yeah 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 you know it's like almost it's almost like you know she's doing that because she doesn't want to hear people like you yeah right but... you know they don't really think about that though and it's like why why are they so up in arms about a female protagonist in a game like that? Because we've had plenty of female protagonists in games like that. You know, it's like it's so no, it's like, weird. It's like, why aren't you why aren't you vocal about Samus? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um Bayonetta, like yeah, Stellar yeah. Blade, like dude, right? Oh well they 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 like Stellar Blade because you know all the ass. Boobies. Yeah, booby booby and ass. ass yeah. Mm-hmm. You're right, but you're right. it's like I bet you, hundred percent, when you were young and you're playing Metroid, you thought Samus was a dude until that end scene, mm-hmm. and then you're like, that was a chick. Holy mm-hmm. shit! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, this is a legit short story of my friend who, when he was small, yeah, when he was, and he, <laughs> when he was a le- wee lad, a wee lad, yeah, yeah. He finished Metroid, right? And he was he was telling us, you know, at school and stuff. And he said, and I will not forget him saying it. Oh, this time I thought um, Samus was a dude, but when I found out that 
it was a girl, I was so relieved because I thought I was being attracted to a guy. I was like, <laughs> <"That's> <laughs> fucker. It's like, that's a different like perspective, right? <laughs> then years later, now we're like um fucking junior in, in um in high school. Mm -hmm. Here comes Master Chief. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, he's like, I think I'm attracted to him. I was like, like. You you like him or it's like I think I'm gay. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Chavez. <laughs> Push you over. Mm -hmm. Like then you know, Halo 2 came out yeah. and my friend goes like and I was like he's like I'm still a, you know, I still like Chief for, you know, his personal reasons. Then he looks over to me. Who do you like? Arbiter. Arbiter. Why? <laughs> Can keep David's voice. Mm -hmm. Fuck, he can kill me while while saying I'm a fucking degenerate and and call me a demon. Darn oh, demon! I'm mm -hmm. Like yes, <laughs> it's like yes. You know, on the topic of uh, well, before we go further, hold on. I, I I just have to do this. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! <laughs> I mean. I mean, you know, I, if, 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 if he greets me like that, mm -hmm. going to hell, I'll be like, it's not hell. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't mind going <laughs> to hell. So <laughs> no. like, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Have you have you heard, oh, ever yeah. heard uh, uh, Keith David laugh? Like, had an actual, like, maniacal villain laugh? Yeah. Yeah? Because yeah. I did watch some Tales from the Hood. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, which I'll... I would... Which I wasn't supposed to because you mm -hmm. know that thing was fucking. Yeah. 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 But it's kind of sad that if you compare this movie, um, Tales of the Hood two and one, two does not do a really good job. Mm -hmm. Here comes. <laughs> now, do you want to hear Goliath laugh like this, or <laughs> you know, can you pitch your spawn? Oh yeah, like this. this this part too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I I love Keith David, man. But yeah, you know, Goliath laughing like that. I, oh man, that's why you just like. <laughs> Rethink your life is like, why is he laughing? <laughs> Read a book, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, can like I can I can imagine um, Doctor uh, Facilier. Um, like just laughing from hell or something or uh oh remember remember that um who like well i forget his name but um he was like the servant for uh um the prince naveen i think his name was in the uh, Fr prince uh princess and the frog mm -hmm. and he uh plotted with doc dr F uh facilier to um pretty much sabotage the prince because he, because mm -hmm. you know, he, uh, he was a butler. Treated, got, got treated like shit, or he didn't like how he was treated, or whatever. Yeah. You know, ungrateful, whatever. And um, that that short dude, I can imagine him getting the getting this situation here. Like you know, welcome to hell, motherfucker. <laughs> and then him getting dragged into hell, and then screaming and all that shit. And then Doc um, Facilier just laughing like that. <laughs> That would actually kind of make sense since, you know, he got pulled into the voodoo world or voodoo hell or whatever you call it. <laughs> yep. And you just and just hear this. <laughs> oh, man. Love it.
anyway, so um, I do look forward to um, Yote with uh, Erika Ishii and all that stuff. And um, I actually did play the game mostly in English, just to he so I can hear um, the actor who who was playing um, Jin Sakai because I liked his performance. And it's so funny because if you put in Japanese, a lot of the voice actors are from One Piece. So Jin was Zoro. Somebody was Usopp. Somebody else was um, Buggy the Clown. So <laughs> a lot of the, yeah, a, a, no, a number of the major voice actors were from One Piece. Yeah, I think it was um the Buggy voice actor was playing um he was like the master for like the bow or whatever he was like a bow the bow bow master whatever I'll, I'll just um call him and then Usopp was uh basically um I think it was like the I don't know the kid or whatever like he was kind of like the the junior ninja warrior or whatever uh I forget what happens to him but yeah I don't, I don't want to possibly spoil those things but anyway <laughs> Yeah, playing it in Japanese for a little bit was was an experience though, because it's like so it's it's basically fucking Zoro in Wano, <laughs> so <laughs> basically. All right, let's head on to the game's news real quick. Okay, ZZZ. Let's talk about some ZZZ because they they, they did um reveal officially for um. Uh, Tsukishiro Yanagi, uh, she is from Section 6, uh, under the command of, um, Miyabi, and Miyabi is the captain for Section 6, and she, Yanagi here, I guess she is the deputy chief, I guess for Section 6, um, uh, I don't know how many more people are in Section 6, besides the four, right, there's the, the guy, and then Sokaku, and then her right here and then Miyabi of course. Um what do you think of her looks or design or whatever if you have any comment? Um I'll try to see if I can bring up the what do you call the full body one for Yanagi. But yeah just like uh so far I do enjoy it. I forgot what that weapon is called. Hmm. Um <laughs> Oh, like uh, uh, I know, I know, I know what you're trying to like say. Um, yeah, it's a specific name for the spear. Like, it's not a spear, but it's part of that. That uh, I don't want to say like family, but yeah, it's the same. Basically, it functions like a spear. It's like a oh, single. It's a, uh... Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Butcher this fucking thing. Kwan Dao? Dao? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. It is a Kwan Dao. Yeah. Kwan Dao or... It's basically... A a, yeah. Kwan Dao or... Um, what's the Japanese name for? I forgot. But hold on. It's not Nagin Dao, is it? The what? It's... uh, The Naginata is different. Let me... Well, let's just look up the Naginata and let's... Uh, Clear ourselves. But the Naginata is like it's, it yeah the blade is skinnier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I, the, I guess it, this. Well, I can't really see right here, but yeah, it's, it's a little because we don't know thick. we don't know if she's holding it like in an angle. That's why mm -hmm. it looks. But I think it is a. Uh, um, Kwan Dao or Kuyan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's either those two, though. It has to be either a Naginata or a Kwan Dao. Because, it, I mean, Naginata would make sense because, you know, she's a, she's essentially a refer referencing a samurai, right? With the shoulder... Oh, God. With the shoulder pad and everything. The pauldron, right? Mm -hmm. And the fact that, yes, the, the whole squad, that whole squad is supposed to be Japanese-themed, especially samurais. And... Yeah. Uh, but what do you? God damn it, so loud. Um, make of her design, or what do you think of her design? Uh, 
I mean, compare her to uh, Sokaku. She looks more like take away the the um the sh- shoulder um pauldron. Mm-hmm. She probably going. She probably fits with the public sec. Mm-hmm, pub as sec, one of yeah. The, um, mm-hmm. As one of the um like detectives and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, she kind of looks interchangeable. So maybe less on the more like distinctive side and more just like interchangeable and um other than that yeah she kind of looks like you know like the 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 quote-unquote like um beautiful or hot office lady kind of look uh if you take if you take away the shoulder thing the shoulder pauldron uh damn i i thought there was a i thought there was like a full screen or full body thing but whatever um, I think she looks okay. I mean, she, um, obviously, she, yes, she's hot in her own way, but uh, or, or cute at least, or adorable, as in in her own way. But I'm not super crazy about the design. Not bad by any means, but it's just like, all right, you know, you know, she's alright to me. I think this is a good time for me to uh, start saving up, <laughs> and then um have somebody like uh who also was revealed the same day lighter lighter is like oh my god he looks he looks pretty cool i i haven't done the whole story yet but um just from like what i was able to see so far he looks pretty sick i like his personality already he's the uh yep, and mm-hmm. he's gonna be a uh, very um because i don't know if i talked about it um, like I'm kind of a little tired of like just seeing just guns and weapons and forearms. I mm-hmm. I need to see more people with using their fists and mm-hmm, their bodies. Lo, yeah. mm-hmm. lo and behold, there he is. It's like mm-hmm. oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah, he's the melee fighter, pretty much like the the monk, right? In those RPG games. But apparently, he's gonna come after her. Oh, thank God. Her. Thank God, because yeah, because I, I thought it would be Caesar, Bernice, and then Lighter, but no, it's Caesar, Bernice, then um, Nanagi, and then Nanagi, and then Lighter. Mm-hmm. Good, like, thank God. Well, <laughs> yeah, I need to save up. I was like, I was like, well, in my head, it's like, well, banner story wise, it doesn't make sense, but for right. wallet wise, wallet wise, I guess, yes. Unless they're gonna have something for Yanagi, like in the story, maybe. But mm, that is, that is it is strange from a lore perspective. But yes, I hope I get lighter. <laughs> he, he he looks pretty cool, and and the yes, the fact that he is a melee or um, martial artist kind of, kind of fighter, and then um, the fists, right? And the English side of things, he is voiced by. Uh, I forget his last name, but I think it's like Alex Lay. He he's um Luke from Street Fighter. So he's been he's been dating a lot of stuff going on. So so good for him. He, uh absolutely. And I think he's a, a good choice for the English side of things. He's Luke. I better hear a fucking Memphis. Oh yeah. Re- reference in his um in his ultimate. I come, I see, I crash. <laughs> it's a funny quote. <laughs> I come, I crash. <laughs> <laughs> I crash, I come. <laughs> I crash, I come. He's like, wow, oh, like every other guy. <laughs> I see. No, I, I just, no, I see, I come. <laughs> God, we're so stupid. <laughs> I come, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Why does I see, come. I see, I come. <laughs> God damn it! Why is that so funny? It's oh. like it's like you know, like one of those like stop it! I'm supposed to be intimidating. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just smacking your lips? Like, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, gotta gotta love the that dumb humor. Uh yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There was a music video for um a little bit of Caesar's origin. 
And that's about it, I think. In terms of um character reveal. And what was it? Um I believe there was more stuff coming for when it comes to um updates and such. Oh yeah. I mean sorry, before we go further. There's the Japanese voice actor for Lighter and his like resume. <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sorry. He played Hisoka. Yeah. Which so I'm more annoyed that I share the same birthday as fucking Hisoka. Mm, well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is. But Hiro look, there's Ryu. It's like look, there's Ryu. I don't fucking care. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, Hiroki Takahashi is the Japanese voice actor or Seiyu. Uh, Kukri. Oh, he played Kukri. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and then also, well, technically, I do share my birthday with um, Yoroki san. Oh, ah, okay. Superbi. Uh, I can... mm -hmm. all these, all these oh, Kenji. Remember Kenji from School Rumble? And then Joey, of course, or, or Joichi mm -hmm. for Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. Oh, have you? Did you read uh, Prince of Ten uh, Tennis a little bit, or at least? Prince of Tennis, I read all the way up to, what was it? Like the second? Mm. um, The second tournament or whatever. Oh, okay. Or championship. Yeah. That's uh, how far I went, and then I stopped. Yeah, I actually, eh, I mean, I, I, I read it a little bit, and then I, I stopped somewhere early. Um. But I, I do remember like Prince of Tennis. Like that like, name sort of s stuck to me as a as a teen. Um, Hitalia, remember you remember Hitalia? Yeah, Hitalia. Yeah, he voices yeah. Japan. Yeah. Japan. <laughs> yep, yep, Japan. 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 Yeah. Um, or Japan. <laughs> Japan. No. Um. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Ryu. I, I'm not too familiar with the rest of the characters, uh, so much. Ex obviously, with Grand Blue Fantasy, um, Katzelia is uh one of the um, what do you call the evokers? There you go. He's like one of the the how many were there? Like nine or ten evokers or something. Basically, he's he's pretty powerful. Basically. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if there was one for her, Yanagi, because I forgot if she had one or not, or this account did one for her. Sorry, I'm trying to like scroll through to avoid possible spoilers. But um, oh yeah, people were people were talking about her, man. Pulcher, whatever her name is, yeah, you know, you know why. Good old good old furry bait. Oh my god, is that her actual wallpaper thing? Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I that's like her. Dynamic wallpaper thing. I like that. God, get dang. on the bike. I'm riding. Get on the bike. I'm riding you. Like... Yeah, on the topic of so... Caesar, uh, I did get her and her and her yeah, W and her W engine, but it took. Uh, dude, I had to go hard pity all the way for the for both of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I won the fifty fifty for both. So, oh man, that was. Pretty nice. Now, now the only other thing you need to do is get the uh, bang boo. Mm -hmm, I know. Yeah, I want. The, I want the pig. Yeah. You want mines? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Right. Uh, oh, <laughs> um, did you see? Oh, I think I have it here on the docket. Did you uh, at least see a little bit of the story, or did you finish all the story? For um, I'm. I don't know where I'm in the story, but yes, I broke. Okay. Uh oh, okay, that's not it. We'll bring that up in a bit. Uh shit. I thought I had it. Hold on. It's a particular scene with Billy. Because yes, Billy got involved a little bit. Um Let me try to scroll. Oh, here he is. There <laughs> you see his fucking body. Whoop. Like, whoop. <laughs> Like what the fuck is happening with what? Billy? <laughs> oh my god! It's like only his lower half. Yeah, look at this. Look at his legs. <laughs> it's 
fucking just... he got the stanky legs. Yeah. <laughs> I was when I first saw, it, I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> We're like, "Whoop!" But yeah, it's only his lower half. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the scary part. Yep, and he's a robot. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> How did I he? I guess all those upgrades did do something, right? The fucking glings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, ZZZ Z- 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 def- easily has the best animations of the, uh, the three modern Mario games. Just be- just this alone is like a testament. It, I don't know how he can do that, but whatever. What the else you can do with that body? <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh oh yeah, so I was looking for um Yanagi stuff. Yes, Big Daddy shows up early. Yes. <laughs> I definitely want Big Daddy to be um hopefully play. No, no, you can stop there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can stop there. You definitely want Big Daddy. He's like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> Here, take a number. Take a number. <laughs> yep, you're gonna have to wait in line because I know you're gonna be standing in line for a long time, my friend. Mm-hmm. Um, where is it? Okay, I guess that's one. Yeah, she was. She shares the same voice for um, Robin from Star Rail. That's one. Oh, there you go. So Kaori Nazuka is Yanagi. Eh, few, sm- kind of a smaller resume, but yeah, she voices Robin. She voices Uta for one from One Piece. Oh my God, Chelsea from Akame Ga Kill. Yeah, oh, that series is. Uta's not canon yet. She hasn't made it into the anime. She's semi canon. I don't know. It's weird. She's like, yeah. weird... she's like in that weird spot. It's like, like a... she's canon, but she's not yet. Yeah, she hasn't shown up or she's, whatever. She's she's kind of falling in line, like how Cooler is for mm-hmm. the, the Dragon Ball franchise. Mm-hmm. It's like he's he's not canon yet, so that's why I hope the next super movie is mm-hmm. with Cooler mm-hmm. to make him canon. Because you know we got Broly, so yeah. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Yep. Unless Uta is like on the other side of the fucking grand line. Mm-hmm. Kyoko. Or, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Or, no, I was or Uta is actually in, um, you know, in the current um, arc. And she's just like in the shadows. Mm-hmm. Just like, watching the movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. She's probably with the resistance as a fall. We fucking mm-hmm. possibly. Yeah. So I was about to say, um, Kyoko from High Cube, yeah, she voices also. Miu from Fate Grand Order, I- I'm sure you know Miu, <laughs> at least to some extent. Um, yeah, and then Miu is from a uh, fucking um Prisma Ilya. That's a magical girl spinoff for Fate series. Not gonna get into that whole thing because that's oh my god, that's like some degenerate stuff. <laughs> That is some degen degen stuff. So that's a lot of Maho Shoujo we don't want to get into. Yep. Very, very fan servicey, let's just put it that way. Um, okay. So obviously there have been some t- uh further updates that are coming, right? Uh and all, not only that, they added some stuff uh currently, but um Basically, they added the backup system, the backup battery system, which basically means it can um, your stamina goes even further, so you don't have to worry about uh, missing out and not being optimal on your stamina. Right? They added blitz operation mode, which I haven't tried it out yet. I wanna, I wanna see. Um, but that's supposed supposed to be um, fast forwarding through the hollow zone or is hollow zero. Um skipping through the TV stuff and all that in between. Um, you can now... Uh, well, mm, go ahead. No, I tried the uh, the backup thing. Mm-hmm. It only gives you one. One point. Well, yeah, because you, you have to wait for it 
to you have to be at max right for which is 240 right and then the overcharge starts right and that's where it starts to build up so if you're like i don't know you're like doing something or if you're busy or whatever then that's where it starts to build up and i forget the rate for it oh i think from what i was saying it was like 18 minutes oh it's like one point for 18 minutes like, yeah hmm and I'm like, mm. whatever. I, <laughs> at whatever rate, I mean, it's it's there to make it a little easier for you yeah, to, to be... help. But yeah. to me, it's like I don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there, uh, when it comes to the notorious hunting, um, you don't have to like, you're not locked behind the you know the three time limit thing anymore. You can actually just. Um, like if you want to do more, then you can use your battery to, um, hit, fight it and then get more, uh, those materials. So that's good. But that's, uh, uh, though granted it is for 60 battery. Um, and then, uh, yeah, fa fairy auto mode, which I'm not sure if it's like, oh, if you miss out on this treasure, then you'll get it eventually or something i forgot I, i'm not too sure how that works um but that's like the major stuff anyway that's all for the major stuff uh oh yeah and then no tv mode for the story stuff the main story you still it's still it's still around <clears throat> granted but um uh, main story stuff no uh for those who like the tv system it's still there so yeah yeah it's just not gonna be in the main story it's gonna be um like mini games yeah side stories or mini games yeah that's essentially or events mm -hmm. that events calls for it mm -hmm. yeah and then for future stuff this is the big one for me at number one we are uh currently exploring optimization options regarding the shared decibels which is the ultimates when agents nice. use ultimate skills in combat we will also continue optimization to uh Optimize the logic of enemy lock on function and more types of enemies with more varied combat animations. So the problem right now is that like, let's say like you want to attack this box and there's an enemy right there. It'll always suck you into the enemy when you're trying to, you know, just break the box. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's super annoying. And, but of course the ultimate thing, that's also pretty big because now you can start using all the other characters kiss while you still have the DPS um, alt. So that's going to be good. Um, that's a good change because you're always limited to essentially your DPS alt because you want to do damage, right? Especially yeah. when there are modes that call for it when you have to beat the mode within like a time limit. And which is also another change because they're just, they're adding more goals uh, to achieve S rank or something like that. So you don't have to just beat it in the time lap or some sort of time lapse or whatever you want to call it, or time attack. Um, there are other, there will be other ways to score points as well. Okay. Um, but the ultimate, shared ultimate thing, I always thought was kind of questionable because it's like, yeah, you have all these animations, right, for each character, but you can only, you're only forced to use one per sash, pretty much. And, you, you know, obviously you want to kill the enemy, so you want to, you know, just use a DPS one, right? Yeah, so that's a good change. Um, now you can get to see all the other animations and such, and and get to utilize the rest of their kits, right? Not just sit there and such. Um, new modes for Hollow Zero, right? Also more, yeah, battle rank criteria. I just uh, mentioned that beyond time limits. So just talk, talked about that. Uh, aging a company mode. Uh, proxies will be able to hang out with their favorite agents and cities uh, and interact with them. We will be continuously improving the models of some agents like Hosh uh, Hoshimi Miyabi to provide proxies with an improved uh, visual experience. Client resource management function will be added. Proxies will be able to re reduce their package size by managing the game's resources. So you know how like those like... Uh, like the game has like previous cutscenes for you to watch. I guess if you're like not needing them, then you have the option to get rid of them to reduce the yeah, the space in your hard drive or whatever. 
So that's neat, I guess. Um, so that's about it for that. But yeah, for me, is the is the alts that uh um got me excited the most. Um, was there anything like you wanted to point out or any comment? Uh, yes. Um, <clears throat> hey, Hoyaverse. Why am I only allowed to switch to Caesar? Where's my goddamn fucking Lycon? Yeah, yeah. I think they're working on the rest of the models. Although I think Jane should have been done, right? Because you can walk yeah, around Jane as... Yeah, Jane should have been. Yeah. You can walk around as Jane. So it's like, why... What? What's the holdup, right? Because her her uh her badong badong mm -hmm. was was too much. She she's she's too bootylicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her body is too bootylicious. That's what happened. All right, so that's it for that. So looking forward to those changes, especially with the alts. Meanwhile, I guess allegedly or apparently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, there's going to be another Honkai game coming, I guess. New Honkai series game, official art right here, apparently. So, take that with a grain of salt if you, if you, if you want to. Keywords that come with it is a modern town setting, Chinese RPG, fun fantasy, and it has elf cultivation. I don't know what that means, but maybe that it just means we're gonna see more elves or something. So, but yeah. why though? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, let me make sure if CRPG is not what I think it is. Um. Computer RPG. Hmm. I guess there is an actual genre of it. I thought I thought I thought it was just Chinese uh, RPG because you know there's JRPG, so I thought mm -hmm. it was CRPG. Okay, I, I didn't know that was an actual little genre or whatever you call it. So what is it actually referring to? Um, a Baldur's Gate, Planescape, uh, Divinity. Oh, okay. So. Is it gonna be like a um, what do you call those um, like point and click games, like uh, you know those top down strategy games, mm -hmm. real time strategy? Oh, okay. I mean, huh? That would be get me curious, but whatever. Um, that's the case. But the elf thing, I'm like, hmm. What's that? What's that mean? What's this elf cultivation thing? Oh, I guess someone's explaining it. For people confused by elf cultivation, it means monster taming. Oh, it's going to be a monster taming game. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Eh, okay. Started to started to wane a little bit, but I, have to, I still have to see the game to see if I'm interested. Um, this translation is, is, or this is lost in, Translation due to cultural difference. The ca term came from Pokemon that was localized as such and such before switching to such and such. Okay, so it's a bunch of Chinese kanji, so I can't really read that out loud. Okay, so I guess it's like yeah, it's 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 kind of like their way of looking at um, monster taming stuff. Okay, that's an interesting translation then. Elf cultivation. Hmm. So I guess like they look at um, Pokemon as like more fantastical creatures, and they just that's why they just categorize them as the same thing as elves, I guess. Maybe that's that's my that's my wild guess on it. So anyway, um, oh okay, so possibly it could be like this or something like point you know top down. You're like pointing, clicking, this mm -hmm. type of stuff. Okay. So possibly like this, okay. I mean, if that's the case, and it's like, okay, that, that's just kind of like a spin-off, whatever, farm simulator monster game, okay. It's nothing big, okay. We'll have to see, though. We'll have to see. Because, goddamn, I don't want to 
be playing four Hoyo games at once. Jesus Christ, that'd be too much. Yes, you do. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> no fear. No fear. No fear. You throw that money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right. If they release Honkai, let's say like Honkai Impact 4th or something, then I might consider it, but we'll see. Now, I guess that'll depend on what's happening at the time. All right. So what time is it? Okay, we're, we're pretty good. All right. Um, Let's head on to the visual entertainment stuff. So let's go ahead and play this one real quick. Okay. Um, This is in talks of the... Netflix One Piece. So Megan Nello has been like talking about uh, Crocodile and such, and he got this uh, statue of, well, Mr. Zero slash Crocodile. Um, if you if you like look at it or compare it, that's a big ass statue. Yep. Yeah, that's those a... things are actually like a thousand. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a there's a lot of detail going on just from even from like this quality of picture. I Mm -hmm. Who's the company that makes those? Mm -hmm. Cause it's it's not Matt, um it's not Precious Gem. Okay. It's a it's like another big company. Like this is the that's the company that you will throw your money at mm -hmm. for like statue. Uh huh. Yeah. Because you know that um nice looking um uh gear number you own of Luffy like uh -huh. really big one mm -hmm. that has. Him and then there's like small others like around him. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. it's from the it's from the same company. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a big ass. They're statue. well known. They're mm -hmm. well known for their uh, details. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like um, the picture doesn't do justice. Oh, but yeah. If you zoom into the uh, crocodile, you can actually see that each scale is individually painted. Oh shit! Okay. On the yeah, croc so on like, the actual crocodile. Yeah. Oh, okay, like each okay. of the scales are like individually painted. So Damn. I'm like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. So when I saw this statue, I was like, holy shit. Either you bought it or you were given that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says... Or you just, mm -hmm. or you took a down payment. <laughs> well, he says, thank you to my dude, Andy and Sideshow for the gift of this absolutely insane Sir Crocodile statue. I love that he kind of like unintentionally spoiled already with <laughs> Sir Crocodile. But was, we know, we know. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah, for for us, um, so yeah. we know who you is. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those minor out of context spoiler things, so it's not too bad. But yeah, Maganello though he's been going in on the crocodile thing, and in fact, I believe I have it. Uh, uh in the dock maybe. Okay, well, well, we can look him up real quick. But anyway, so I'll just bring up the other tabs of Megan Nello. Um if you look at his um actual Twitter page he actually has this. He actually has this as his banner. And then the fucking quote the, the quote Crocodile says during the um impaled down he 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 wrote that he wrote he wrote out the Japanese version on his profile bio thing. Like this is his real thing. Like I'm, I was like I I thought it was a meme. I thought someone like edited that, but I looked I actually looked it up and it's the real deal. I'm like what the fuck? <laughs> Damn man, what time what timeline are, are we living in? You know. Oh wow, last logic uh made a little edit for um Meganello. Oh, that's cool. But um I also wanted to bring up other things, right? Uh these are apparent quotes that he said about like him taking on the role for Crocodile. Uh, let me see. So I guess I'll read this one. It says uh, Megan Nello, who plays Crocodile, talked about how important it is to show Crocodile's mindset after being defeated by Whitebeard. 
Losing his dreams left him hurt, disappointed, and unable to trust others. Maganella pro promised to do his best to bring the iconic villain to life. Right. Another one, kind of relating to that, it says, um, and I guess this is a parent quote from him. What I found is he, he, what I found is he is the flip side of the coin from Luffy. He represents the dark, this dark future for Luffy if he allows the trauma to, of defeat to affect him like it was for him. So, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, right? Um, he hints that, yeah, Crocodile was once like, you know, kind of like Luffy, right? And he even kind of like uh, told him that when he was, um, you know, in that final battle moment, right? When, when you know, when yeah. shit was falling down and, you know, in the, in the underground underground chamber, right? Yeah. And he like, he, and in, uh, as he was like, you know, taking a swing at Luffy or whatever, um, he says about, uh, like, your dreams will be um, ruined or whatever when you go, uh, if, if you head to the Grand Line or something. So, um, it might be hinting that he had friends, he had, like, a crew and everything, but they're all killed or something happened. And um, and that's why he, he has turned out like this, all, like, gloomy and dark and all that shit. So, he, in a way is kind of like what Luffy could have been if let's say like, you know, when, um, you know, so, sorry, spoiler, whatever, but you know, uh, Ace yeah. dies. Right. And he lets that really get to him on, on the top that on the t top of the fact that, you know, if he stayed separated from his friends or whatever, and you know, maybe they die off one by one or whatever, then yeah, Luffy would have been fucked up and maybe t would have turned out someone similar like Crocodile. So I, I, if this is real, right, I do like that, you know, Maganel is taking it um, seriously, right, to take on the role for Mr. Zero here. So um, any, any comment on that? Waiting for him to, yeah, I just want to see him on screen already. Yeah, yeah, at this point. Yeah, at this point, I do want to see it. I want to see the costume, and I want to see like a trailer. Well, well, I think I think we won't see it in a trailer, but yeah, but like I think we'll see it in the show, right somewhere, and we'll get a um a good taste of it or a tease at least or a good sample, because you know they already they already revealed him like right like they already revealed who's playing Crocodile right here right then there yeah. you know so. That really that really says like they're gonna show him off, um, more than expected, right? And um, along with like maybe you know maybe Mister One or something possibly a Mister Two, we'll see. Um, cause yeah, we are we, we got Miss All Sunday right or Robin yeah. obviously, so we'll see her for sure. But yeah. Um. Oh, you know what? I think they'll show his whole face or whatever, his whole thing, when he's talking to Sanji. Remember, remember when Sanji was like, um, he took the, um, the call for Mister Three from Mister Three's um transponder snail, yeah. and then he gave himself the name Mister Prince. I think at that moment mm -hmm. when he was talking to um Crocodile, and then Crocodile was like, "Who, who the fuck is this?" You know. And all that stuff. So I think then he'll start talking. You'll, we'll see his face and everything. And that's when, yeah. And that's what we get our sort of idea of how Meganella will um, play as Crocodile. So yeah. either way, I definitely look forward to it more now. All right. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Like you, like you said, we'll we'll definitely uh, we would like to see that now. You know, the more more is being said about it. All right, and then um, these are kind of like quick ones, but we'll, yeah, we'll just get to them. Meanwhile, Deadpool Wolverine, uh, sometime during this week, um, surpassed 
the Avengers. Remember the very first Avengers movie? Wolver uh, Deadpool, Wolverine, or yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine has become the fifth highest grossing comic book movie up to this point. So that yeah, meaning that yes, they um beat the Avengers. Uh, I don't know how much or by how much, but yeah, I guess they uh su surpassed them. So um, let me see if there's an actual. Let me see. Numbers. Yeah. Get the numbers. Yeah. Let me see if there's an actual chart for that. Yeah, obviously it's Avengers Endgame. Um. Hmm. Well, according to this, right? I guess they didn't update yet, or maybe I don't know. Might might be a because this they say it's the fifth one, which. Avengers is fourth. So I'm um, I'm starting to question it a little bit, but um But it is climbing up there though. Along with now the uh the rest of these MCU films. Okay. Yeah, Infinity War and Endgame, man. That shit was something. Especially Infinity War. That was like, man, what a doozy. So, anyway, that's... I just want to, like, see parents, you know, like like us, if we... When we get kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're showing them, you know, the MCU. Uh, are you going to be, like, that parent? We're like, okay, here, we're, we're watching Infinity War and the movie ends. Okay, let's watch Endgame. Nope. <laughs> what do you mean? You're waiting. Mm -hmm. or what was it? Like two years? Oh, two years? yeah. You're waiting till next year to watch it, but we have right. You suffer like how I suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. That's rough. <laughs> then what am I going to watch until, you know, until next year? Bambi. Mm -hmm. Grave of the Fireflies. <laughs> On repeat. Mm -hmm. All right. More on Marvel. Uh, the Thunderbolts uh, came out with a teaser, even though it's like fucking three minutes. Um, not sure if we're gonna, if we're gonna watch the whole thing here, but yeah. Um, did you watch this um trailer? Did you watch it? So. Did you did you watch the trailer for Thunderbolts? Have you watched for it? Thunderbolt? Yeah. Of bits and parts. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. We kind of cut out a bit, but Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah. Um So you watched a little bit of it. Okay. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> lots of work, lots of work. Many irons in fire. You feel fulfilled? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so full. So filled. I mean, okay. Hmm. Black Widow movie was not that great. Yeah. But I do like like those two characters. The red, yeah, Red, really, uh, red fucking, Guardian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I blew it out of the park. Mm hmm. <laughs> I like how fucking um, Sebastian Stan was saying like, "Oh yeah, Bucky's not in this movie," you know, like weeks prior. Then it's like, "Hi, I'm Bucky." He's like, Oh. <laughs> I don't like Dustmaster's mask. Yeah. 
I like the shield, but I don't like the mask. Mm -hmm. And then Ghost is back. Who sent you, Bob? Nobody. You were all sent? I'm gonna make this character good. I'm <laughs> not simply overpowerful. Everyone here has done bad See. things. Shadow ops. Robbing government labs. Contract kills. Yeah, so? So, someone wants us gone. Belief that there are good guys and there are bad guys. What's the plan? This could get messy. But eventually, you come to realize that there are bad guys and there are worse guys and nothing else. Look at you. So adorable. Okay. And the boats. Ask her. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh no, my PTSD is acting up. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what we can tell from the trailers that um, somehow they were able to acquire Avengers Tower because you know, well, it was up for sale during um, No Way Home. Mm. Um, Bucky has um, like a senator pin, so he's in, so this has to take like place maybe during or a little bit after um, Captain America. Um, New World Order, because mm -hmm. of um, General Ross. <clears throat> uh, hopefully they do Taskmaster Justice. Yeah. There, I can't, I'm a little surprised they're still, like, going forward with this Taskmaster. Like, yeah. Well, we don't know if, well, the original Taskmaster from Black Widow that one's dead, so hopefully yeah. So because again, the ta Taskmaster, in a sense, is a title. Uh -huh. So hopefully, this is a different Taskmaster. Yeah. Uh, Ghost, I do want to see more of her, mm. and it looks like she she's gotten better equipment, or she's used to her um powers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to help control her powers, maybe to maybe she did get. Some better equipment or upgrades. From uh, somebody. Yeah, you know, I, I just hope she does more wise cracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, who I, is? I will be pissed. Oh, I will wait. be pissed off if fucking um something happens to, uh, Red Comet. Mm. I will be fucking pissed off. Yeah. Um, let me see. There was a particular frame, but whatever. Um, is he actually like what? Like, what, what's the story on this guy? If 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 there is, he's century, century. So pretty much to dub down what century is, more powerful Superman. Or think of a uh, Superman from the Silver Age. Oh. That's how powerful he is. Oh wow! So he's super powerful. Okay. Yeah. Century, but huh? I don't know how he how they're gonna write him because pretty much he is a god level, like mm. god level. But but you know, like in comic books, you can just write god level, but it don't mean shit. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they do Sentry justice, but I highly doubt it because mm. of how much nerfs they're gonna have to give to the to Sentry for the MCU. Yeah. Yeah, if he's supposed to be as strong or more powerful than Superman, then Jesus, yeah. I'm just kind of strange that they're introducing him now at this point, especially at this point in the movie. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. And then that's a little peculiar then. Yeah, obviously we have US Agent, we have um, Ghost, 
uh, Taskmaster, uh, what's her name? Elena? What was it? Yeah. Yeah. Elena. Elena. And then you said Red Comet is his name? Or the, or is his alter ego? And then Bucky, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, hmm. I, I mean, I, I don't have much else to say other than, like, I have to catch. Yeah, you have to wait and see. Or yeah, wait have... and see. Yeah, you kind of have, you, you kind of do have homework. Mm -hmm. Which is only watching Black Widow and um, oh, yeah, yeah. the Captain uh, New World Order, uh, uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That I that one, I, no, one, yeah, those two I watched, so I th that yeah, should be so fine. Th those are the only, those are the only two homework. Okay. Well, pretty much maybe Ant Man two oh. because of Ghost. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I've seen that one too. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're already caught up with like things before, you know, Disney kind of went a little too ham on the. Uh, homework assignment mm -hmm. you should be good yeah, yeah yeah all right well um interested uh cautiously interested but we'll see what's um afoot i guess you could say uh, later on all right let's wrap it up with some sonic stuff so this particular artwork was a poster, right, of Shadow, you know, doing the slide, right, with the motorcycle. But, he, you know, first off, he's using his hand to break, right, um, first off. And I like that, I don't know, if for, for some reason, there's sparks coming out of the, the tires, right? But, you know, it looks cool. <laughs> um, but... The thing, right, that they, they were giving out these as posters, right? But the posters were only exclusive if you bought tickets for uh, Trans Transformers 1, right? Which apparently has been a good movie um, for people who watched it. So, hmm, okay. All right. Um, I thought I read in one thing that it was flopping, but hmm, maybe that person was just... I don't know. Did not like the movie or something. I don't know. Because let's see what's going on. Uh, let me see. Yeah, apparently for like for most people who watched it, they're like they they liked it and such. Um. Oh, okay. So it's it's making its way back for the money for money wise. But forever, for, but the actual movie as itself is being praised. So positive reviews, mm -hmm. the story, animation, voice performances. I heard apparently, like yeah, like um, Brian Tyree Henry is doing really good as or he did good as Megatron, or um, what was it D sixteen, whatever his name, whatever his name was before he became yeah okay so D sixteen, so yeah. And then Orion, of course, that's um, before Optimus Prime. So hey, I mean that's a that's a surprise. I actually thought it was gonna like be like whatever, but yeah, all right. But yeah, um, it looks cool. That's all I can say, and I can't wait for the movie. You know, um, but. It sucks that the posters are tied to another movie, you know, instead of like, um, I don't know, pre-order for Sh Sonic X Shadow Generations. Yeah. That would that would have made more sense, you know, if it, if it was like a part of like a um, a collector's thing, then I would have been like, oh shit, you know, that that might be the excuse or the reason for me to buy that, you know. But yeah. See, I thought because they're doing that, I'm like, uh oh, this is might be a, um, uh, what do you call, a red flag for Transformers yeah. One, because they're trying to use another movie to promote this movie or something, right? And um, you know, trying to make them make up for the cost they would possibly lose for Transformers One, but yeah, I mean, no, 
I mean, I think the movie is performing well enough, so it'll be fine. Unlike something like um, Borderlands, you know, the movie. Uh, any comment on either this or Transformers 1 or... Uh, Transformers 1, like... I'll catch it. Probably at the, you know, the end cycle of it being in theaters. Yeah. But with um Sonic 3... I do want to watch it, but then I don't want to say goodbye to Jim Carrey. If yeah, this right. Last, if this is, movie. yeah, we don't know, but yeah, that is a possibility. This is his last time, like his last, like acting yeah. and stuff. Go out with a bang, sir. Mm-hmm. Go out with a bang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but for right now, we still don't know yet, you know. Um, See, I'm thinking about like, hmm, like maybe I'll do the same for Transformers One. I'll just watch it when, you know, the hype, quote unquote, dies down or whatever. Um, maybe like in the middle of October or something. Cause how how long, do you know how long like movies usually run for? Like a month or something. Um, well, I remember like long long time ago. Wouldn't wasn't like movies like. They're in theaters for like at least two to three months, and then like after like four months, the DVD or the VHS would come out. Because that's how I always look at um movies in the past. Mm-hmm. Okay, how long till um, I get it to home video? But with nowadays, it's like oh, one month, and then two months later, here comes the yeah. It's like sporadic. DVD. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially for a movie like Warlands, they already they already went to digital, so or it's going to yeah. be digital soonish. So that's like the fastest record ever for like a big movie like that, especially for a video game movie. Yeah, uh, um, maybe I might c- catch it since uh, now that like people are saying like, oh, it's good or whatever. Yeah, um, and then one comment I saw was, whoever was the marketing team for that movie needs to be fired or something like that. That's how, you know, pe- much people like the movie. So it seems like. So hey, I, I might catch it. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, for, for whatever reason, by a mir- by some miracle, they still have the posters or something. Because <laughs> yeah, that this this poster looks really cool. To be fair. All right. I think uh, we're just about done with that. So, pretty good time. Um, And I think the rest of the Tokyo Game Show stuff will be finished by the time we come around for next week. So, we'll definitely have some some stuff to talk about. But either way, thank you very much, everyone, who uh, tuned in and uh, um, uh, gave gave us your time, uh, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, so we'll, um, keep chugging along until, you know, the end of the year. And then we'll, uh, rinse and repeat, uh, most likely, hopefully. So, yeah. Until then, uh, with that, thank you very much. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Give me strength, Daddy. I am going to pull. Are you sure you won't get out my moves? On which banner I don't fucking know.